Okay, after numerous attempts with the, uh, the hot and cold water convention currents, uh, it was just, well, plain old not working. Uh, I was not able to get it to work, or at least to work and look good on camera. So we're going to do a slightly different variation on the same theme, uh, except now we're going to be playing with chemistry instead of temperature. So, we're going to start out with some half and half. Just like all dairy products, half and half is a suspension of fats and uh, lipids inside a liquid. So we're going to add that, just not too much, enough to cover, kind of cover the bottom. Now this is traditionally done with milk, but um, that makes things happen fast, so I found that using things denser like half and half, or if you can get a heavy whipping cream, definitely slows things down. Uh, so we've got a tray of that. The other benefit of using something so viscous is it calms down almost immediately. So to that, we're going to add some drops of food coloring. So we're going to add some green. Now all of the green is making kind of nice little swirls there. Those are mostly just swirls left over from um, basically just the mechanical motion of me dropping the liquid into the cream. So nothing too exciting as you can see. It pretty much gets frozen almost immediately because the medium is so dense. I want to add some some blue just to mix things up. Again, you'll see there's some motion initially when it hits and then pretty much everything slows down because of course in these tiny little systems we're creating, nothing new is being added. There's no uh, there's nothing interesting going between the boundaries. So what we'll do to change that up is add some soap. Now soap is hydrophobic on one end and hydrophilic on the other, which means that it loves water on one side and repels it on the other. So if we add that to something containing fat, some really interesting things should happen. And boom, there we go. Almost immediately, as promised, interesting things. Uh, this is because, of course, the soap is now busting through there, ripping apart the fat molecules and the water molecules, pushing everything around, and generally being a nuisance. But what it does do is give us these very cool patterns. So instead of just these static little systems of of water and food coloring, you've got something a little more dynamic happening with the soap bubbles pushing itself, forcing itself into the systems, and pushing things around. That's kind of uh, interesting there. Uh, what we can't see, unfortunately, in this situation is the fact that this is actually also happening in three dimensions. If we could take a cross section, you'd see the kind of little fountains of dye coming up from the bottom, actually which is the fountains of soap, coming up from the bottom, pushing the dye with it, and returning back around to here. But anyways, that is a very brief example, and I think a very colorful example of what we were talking about, and a little easier to do than messing with thermodynamics. Okay.